Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Trevor's Phone Reviews video. This is the Samsung Galaxy S24. And if you're having problems where you're not being able to send messages, And as you can see, I did like a test and it says not sent. And it says at the bottom, more options. And basically the more options button would be for deleting the message or for trying to resend it. Yes, a lot of people will say, go here, go here, go here to look up your messaging settings. And they'll say, go down and clear your um, cache and clear your data. And I already did that. And I was still having an issue where I could not send the message. And I was like, why is it not allowing me to send the picture message that I've been trying to send for a while? What I did was I called Verizon and I said, hey, I'm having this issue and I don't know why. And it's the second time in about three months that the issue was not being fixed. So they did like a hard reset on the network. They did uh, their little diagnostic tests on their end. Basically what I came to the conclusion was it had nothing to do with Verizon's network or it being a Samsung Galaxy S24. So as you can see, there's four messaging apps. Well, basically two. There's the Samsung Galaxy messaging app that comes with the phone, which is in the blue bubble. The white one is Google and the red one is Verizon's messaging app. So my phone somehow got on this messaging app which is the google app and it was having all sorts of issues and i don't know how the google messaging app got set as a default i opened up the messaging app by samsung that's the stock messaging app that i thought i was using and i went down and this one was not correct default app so i was like that's a little weird that this is not the default app and a lot of people online are having this issue where their rcs messages aren't being sent because rcs chat i guess is what it's called is a high uh, quality uh, version of text messaging so you can send high quality pictures and high quality videos to like iPhones and other things like that instead of it being very pixelated just through SMS. So when I clicked on the Samsung messaging app, it actually started working correctly. There was nothing that was any different or anything that was needed to be set. I clicked on it, I clicked set as a default messaging app and it started working and working like it's supposed to and google messaging app that was the one that kept failing multiple times so with that being said guys if you are using like the google messaging app on your samsung galaxy s24 try to go back to just the regular stock messaging app on the samsung galaxy s24 because as you can see there's a picture here and a picture there that are pretty high res but to be honest through google these weren't even being able to be sent because that's what fixed my issue and it might fix your issue too so with that being said guys remember to rate comment and subscribe and let me know if that does fix your issue because like i said i didn't even know it was connected to the google messaging app i was just having that issue where it said not sending pictures and not sending messages and people were like maybe you have crappy service no i had full-on 5g full-on four bars of service everywhere i've gone so it wasn't the fact that i didn't have a lot of service it was just the fact that i was using i would call a third-party messaging app and not the stock messaging app that comes with the phone so now i can send and receive text messages and attachments with no issue